It is going to have a major impact. AI will have a major impact on society. Uh, we are going to be much more efficient. We're going to be able to learn new things. It might be offering careers for people who didn't have the opportunity. I mean, it used to be in the old calculator days, if you couldn't add up, then you couldn't, all sorts of careers. But when the pocket calculator came, you could do all these kinds of things. Now, if you can't write, and you're a bit difficulty of getting your grammar right, and you can't get the words out, maybe you can be a brilliant author now. So there's whole sets of careers that are gonna appear for people. It might be the great democratizer. Uh, that's the positive outlook. Now, I know a lot of people are looking at the negative outlook, but it's gonna put people out of jobs. It'd be commoditizing people who previously had uh, a job to do, and now they don't need that person. I think what you have to do is take the bull by the horns and not be an ostrich and bury your head and then grab hold of these tools, which are going to be amazing and easy to use to really make society more efficient. Right, investing in AI today is uh, littered with uh, mines in a minefield. Uh, many people have come to the field new. Uh, I've personally been working on it literally for 40 years. My first system was 1983. And I thought I was late when I appeared uh, in that, uh, uh, at that time. Today, we have a lot of people who may not have got the traditional background that uh, you know, several years of uh, working in the space, uh, but are quick studies. Uh, so I don't mean to demean that, uh, but from an investment point of view, you've got to see where the competitive advantage is. Is it going to be in the data? Is it going to be the computing horsepower? Is it going to be the actual algorithm that's being used? It's probably not going to be any of those three. It's going to be the actual application. Does anyone actually want your speeded up version of your solution that you're providing over the existence, uh, existing solution? Startups, when they pitch for investments, they, the usual process is they have a pitch deck if, if they haven't actually built the system. Uh, the next step, they've got a prototype uh, to show an investor or kind of the direction they're going. Next thing, they may even have a customer to actually uh, say, well, not only have I built the prototype, but someone actually wants it and they'll pay something for it. Uh, now, the mistake is, the problem is, all of these are positive signals. And typically, it will still take you a long time to get to the final end when you're a real big company, a unicorn and all that. And if you're not listening to your signals all around you, and that's not just the customer, it's other investors, employees, uh, your mother, uh, then you're not iter if you're not iterating, uh, you could get pigeonholed in what we call a local minima, which means it's not optimum uh, to actually uh, get to the full fruition of your company. I'm voting with my feet. Uh, the industries I'm interested in are really in the field of biology. I think this will be the century of uh, biology, bioinformatics, uh, gene editing, gene sequencing. Uh, I myself am working on a company called Agemica. What Agemica is doing is working on a vaccine. Uh, what's so special about that? Well, we're working on a vaccine for aging. So what does that mean? A vaccine for aging, maybe it stops you growing older. Maybe it actually stops you uh, uh, getting wrinkles, as simple as that. Uh, the problem is we can actually live longer with wrinkles, uh, but there's lots of diseases which are really catastrophic. The brain, the heart, the lungs, uh, the liver. And if we can reduce aging of those, we can maybe can reverse aging.